What's up everyone, this is Kawai and welcome to my journey to entrepreneurship. What's up guys, I'm waiting to pick up my sisters from school and you know, I'm just waiting. I've been waiting for about 30 minutes already. Yeah, I'm pretty bored. So instead of sitting down just like this and relaxing, I thought I'm gonna make this video, right? Because this is the, this is the time to be efficient. So instead of waiting like this, I'm going to tell you guys about something that I've learned to be an entrepreneur. And being an entrepreneur doesn't just mean that you are going to create a business or something, right? It, it is in, this is, that is not the only property of being, the only characteristic of being an entrepreneur. If you are a true entrepreneur, you have to take responsibility. Now, my uncle, who is an entrepreneur, I believe he is an entrepreneur because he has taken responsibility and he started his own business. And he started his own business while the others, before he started, most of the people didn't believe in him. They, they was like, oh, you can't do it. You can't do it. It is too, it is, you're crazy. You can't do it at all. Everybody wasn't like that, but still he did it. He didn't listen to every single one around him who were giving him negative feedback, right? Because they knew that they, could, they couldn't do it. So they didn't want my uncle to do it as well. You know, they, be, they believe in that. And my uncle proved them wrong and he is now successful. And, and I'm re I really admire him, you know. So yeah, I want to be an entrepreneur too. And one of the things that to be an entrepreneur, you have to take responsibility. Now my uncle took responsibility not in his business, but also in Chinese, China, Chinese lion dance. If you guys have not seen the lion dance, you guys should see it, guys. And Chinese New Year is pretty soon, guys. Um, I think it's on the last week of January. And then there will be lion dance competition as such. The two people walk, two people dressing, dressed as a lion. And they, they are going to run through, run on the poles, guys. Really, really high poles. And they're going to show you guys lots and lots of different tricks and such. It's pretty dangerous, but it's pretty cool to watch. So I'm going to post them on instagram and also on facebook if you guys want to watch follow me there and you will see it so anyways back to the topic he is the leader of that that um he is the leader he started that in the street in my street right he started the, that competition in my street and now that competition is like the most crowded place and that our street is like the most crowded place because of that competition and at night, you're gonna see, guys. You're gonna see in a month, in, in a month or so. You're gonna see that there are lots and lots of people, and too many people. And you know, you can't even walk into that place anymore. It's too crowded because it is so cool. And when he started that, no one believed in him as well. You know, he had to recruit lots and lots of different people, and he had to train others to to how to dance as a lion and such. You know, it's pretty dangerous. And still, he did it because it's his ho hobby. You know that that's the point, and he did it while everybody was was not agreeing with him because he believed in himself and he knew that he could do it, and he's a pretty good kung fu player as well. He taught me kung fu, but I was pretty lazy. I didn't go to all of his classes. I just went to three or four classes for free, and then I didn't do it anymore. I didn't go to it anymore. But those who paid for it went to those classes, and now they are pretty good at kung fu as well. And the difference between them and me is like, I didn't pay anything, you know. So there was not an investment. There wasn't any investment from my side. So it was not valuable much for me. But if I paid like $10,000 for his Kung Fu lessons, then I'm definitely going there for every single day, guys. Isn't it? Isn't it true, guys? It, you guys might also have some experiences like that, right? And being an entrepreneur, he took responsibility and he's, he was like, I'm going to take the responsibility of this Chinese culture and I'm going to make it the most famous in this city. And he really did that. And he did that. He, it took him several months to do that, but he did it. And now he's successful in it as well. And he doesn't even get paid for that. He is a volunteer and it's his hobby. So he does it every single year. He doesn't even miss a year. You know, it's his hobby. And if you are doing something that you love, when you're working on something that you love, your dream and the, the thing that you really want, then it's never, you will never feel like you're working at all because it isn't work for you. You're doing what you love. It isn't work. And you can do it every single day because it's like relaxing for you, right? And that is 
that is what you what makes you what makes what will make you an entrepreneur gosh that is what will make you an entrepreneur you have to take responsibility not in your not just in your business but also in your personal life and in your hobbies and such don't be afraid to do something wrong because my uncle who is also an entrepreneur he did lots and lots of mistakes he made lots of mistakes i made lots of mistakes as well and i'm still making mistakes and he's been guiding me and he's been telling me about his stories and such and it motivates me a lot because i also want to be like him i also want to be the entrepreneur and he tells me lots and lots of stories about him and he told me lots of difficulties that he had to go through and you know lots and lots of different things and the business how he started his business and how he has been maintaining it and now he's about to retire he said and you know i want to learn everything i can from him and i've been going to him continuously and learning from him continuously for weeks Uh, because um, after about a month after a month from now I'm going back to Australia and I have to study in the university but before that I want to do something I want to learn a lot of things as much as I can from him and so I'm doing it yeah guys so remember that being an entrepreneur is not just about doing some new things in business it's also about taking responsibility not just in your business but also in your personal life If you're a true entrepreneur, you're going to take responsibility, right? And if you love what you're doing, you will not get even if you don't get paid, just like my uncle, he doesn't even get paid. And and from other countries like China and Malaysia, Indonesia, yeah, they call they even called my uncle to be the referee, to be the coach, sometimes to be the coach, sometimes to be the referee. And they paid for they paid just for the food that they eat and the hotel, right? They didn't even pay for his air tickets and he had to pay for himself so he, he said he doesn't even get paid to do this because he had to pay for the air ticket and whatever shopping that he was going to he had to pay for himself he, what he got paid was only for only for his food and also for his hotel rooms yeah that's all it was like <laughs> he was even losing from my perspective he was even he was even losing money doing all of those you know But he was having fun and that's what actually matters it's not about money it's about what makes you happy so he was doing it and he was having fun so it's worth it i guess so yeah be the entrepreneur take responsibility not just in your business but also in your personal life and see you later